So this time around, I'm going to give you a reminder about how to create a Google Map and add points of interest to your map. And then we're going to take that map and we're going to embed it into your Google site. Let's get going. Okay, we're going to start with our map. So we're going to go to mymaps.google.com and we're going to create a new map. Okay, so let's give it a name. And you know, make sure that the name and the description actually make sense and that they are in keeping with what the theme for your map is. You're going to go ahead and save that. Probably a good idea to change the name of your layer. Again, make sure that the layer has a name that makes sense. And then you can go ahead and find the places that you need to put on your map. So I'm going to take a pin. I'm going to stick one here in Harare. Uh, and then some details about Harare. Remember, you can add pictures. Once you go to save, that gives you the option to then edit and change the, the pin to what you need. You can close that, and then you can close that one. And then you can come in, add in more pins. All right. And again, you can change the style of your pin. No, not super important. All right, so you build up and you get your different pins. Now, this is a really important step because if you don't do this next step, people won't be able to see your map. You're going to need to click on the share button. And here, at the moment, it says private only you can access. So you need to change that to anyone with the link because that allows people outside of our school to see the map as well, and then go ahead and save. And done. All right, so they won't be able to change anything, but they can look at it. All right, now we're going to put it into our Google site. So we're going to go to sample site, or to, to my Google site rather, and make sure that you're on the correct page that you need to add your map to, and that you've got the insert tab selected. You're going to scroll down, you're going to find map. So you're going to click on that, and go to My Maps, find the map that you've created, and select that. And there it is there. So I can change the size of you know, and how much of my page it's taking up. And I can move it so it's positioned on the page the way I want. And then you can check to see what it's going to look like by hitting the preview button. And there it is there. Okay, noticing that there's the title. And that's all we pretty much need. Okay, if you have any problems, get in touch with me and I'll help you out. Later.